Good morning, we're doing a Back to Basics video on a dead crossover and a golden crossover moving average um, and the criteria for those. So in front of us, we've got a daily euro versus US dollar chart and a dead crossover happens when the shorter term moving average, which is this red line, falls below the longer term moving average, which is the blue line, while they are both turning lower. So this is an example of a dead crossover. Uh, normally it depicts a period of weakness and you can see from that point there was quite a sell-off by this particular market. Here is an example of a golden crossover. This happens when the shorter term or 55 day moving average in this example crosses above the longer term 200 day moving average in this example, while both are turning higher. That was an example of a golden cross. And you can see quite a decent bull market occurred from then on. This example here, where we've got the shorter term moving average crossing below the longer term moving average, I think it's just a crossover because the longer term moving average is sidelined. I think in order to become negative on this crossover, you would have to wait till the longer term moving average also started to turn lower. I don't think that actually met the criteria of a dead cross crossover, but it was still pretty negative. Uh, and once it started to turn lower, the market really started to sell off.